We have seen a lot of data regarding science, but I prefer to mention the data we are seeing uh, from real world in clinical practice of uh, CAR-T uh, accessible for patients, from real patients, from real world. So we have seen quite a variability on the eligibility criteria across different countries in Europe. Uh, we must consider that the therapy is available through the healthcare system basket of services, mainly through special access programs in several countries, but not all the countries manage the eligibility criteria the same. And this is interesting because uh, when we analyze the outcomes, how many patients do well with the therapy, how many patients are, uh, have good survival after one year, for instance, in comparison to those failures that we see in some countries, uh, could have like certain correlation. I think that it's promising to see this, how this data could help us to understand predictor factors to better uh, select those patients who will receive full benefit of the therapy. And it's not only about the full benefit, it's also about the safety uh, expression of the symptoms, the adverse effects. Some patients uh, have like quite uh, manageable adverse effects, uh, but some others are doing, are suffering all the uh, severe effects. And I think we should, uh, it's going to be interesting how to learn from that uh, for the next generation of the therapy.